What do smoothies, pizza, and chicken noodle soup all have in common? Other than the fact that they're all delicious, they all scientifically count as something that we call mixtures. That's right, mixtures aren't always just the delicious cake batter that you help make. Mixtures exist all around us, whether you think of them or not. So that begs the question, what is a mixture? Basically, a mixture is the result of physically mixing two or more separate substances together. Even though some of my favorite examples are, of course, smoothies, pizza, and chicken noodle soup, others include sugar water, a toy box, trail mix, and air. There are so many different things that count as mixtures, and we can put them into two categories, heterogeneous mixtures and homogeneous mixtures. Heterogeneous mixtures are those where you can see the separate substances. Examples of these are our pizza, soup, trail mix, and toy box. In all of these, you can see the separate parts like the toppings and cheese on the pizza, the chicken and noodles in the soup, the nuts and chocolate in the trail mix, and the different toys in the toy box. Most mixtures we see are heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures are those where you can't see the separate substances, even though they're there. Sugar water is an example of this. If you dissolve a teaspoon of sugar in a cup of water, you can't tell the sugar and water apart anymore. Air is another example. Air is a mix of gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen, but you can't make them out separately. Homogeneous mixtures are also much rarer than heterogeneous mixtures. Smoothies can be tricky to classify because based on how closely you look, they can be heterogeneous or homogeneous. The more you blend a fruit smoothie, the harder it is to see each individual piece of fruit and the more homogeneous it is. Try to look around and see what types of mixtures you see around you and whether they're heterogeneous or homogeneous. You'll be surprised at all you can find.